Welcome back to Stock Labs, another market recap. We are halfway through the month of July, and it was, you know, kind of a decent week for markets, although it had a much different character than recent months, really. We haven't seen the market behave this way in a while. Um, the small caps were big winners. IWM was up 6% for the week. The Qs were down four tenths. So this type of divergence, usually we're used to the Qs kind of moving up and the Russell drifting sideways or moving down, but that had a big, that pattern had a big reversal this week. So unclear if that's a trend change in behavior or if it was a uh, kind of a one-time deal. Um, yeah, the Dow was up 1.7%, not bad. S&P was up eight tenths, kind of a normal-ish up week. Um, yeah, the Qs were down four tenths, like I mentioned. So we'll see how, we'll see how the next week plays out if Russell's going to continue or, I mean, it's going to consolidate some of it at some point, but, um, yeah, that was just something interesting to point out from this past week. As far as the leadership stocks in the market, NVIDIA up 2%, 2.5%, Apple up 1.7%, rest were down, Facebook down 7%, or Meta down 7, 8% for... For the week, you know, it wasn't really mentioned, you know, it wasn't really mentioned, uh, I didn't see very many places, but, you know, this is a pretty big move to the downside, probably Meta's worst week since that week that it collapsed, I think the end of 22, somewhere back there. Um, yeah, so we've got Amazon down 3%, Google down 3%. Microsoft down 3%, Tesla down one and a half. So Tesla had that giant week the week prior. It started to continue higher and then it reversed and sort of ended up kind of near where it started slightly down. So um, yeah, we'll see. Definitely some gyrations taking place in the composition of the market. If we look at subsectors, all green or industries were all green for the uh, for the week. Healthcare was the biggest winner, up seven percent. Utilities also up almost five percent. Tech up two point six. Services up two point five. Industrials five percent. Consumer up four percent. Financials up two point three percent. Basic materials up three percent. So. Um, and subsectors, there were a lot of big winners. Uh, mostly, it looks like it's the sections of the market that were the most sort of left for dead. You know, the perennial losers from the past weeks and even months turned out to be big winners last week. So we've got 25... 60 sectors up over 5%. It's pretty good. I think it's the strongest uh, breadth week we had in quite a while. So, yeah, that part of the that part of the tape was kind of uh, you know, long forgotten and made a bit of a comeback. Uh, if we look at breadth by market cap, we've got one to five billion cap stocks up five and a half percent. So nearly what the Russell did. We've got five to 10 billion cap stocks up 4.6 percent. That's pretty good. 10 to 50 billion cap up 3 percent. 50 to 100 billion up 2% and 100 billion plus up one and a quarter. So 
really outside of the NASDAQ leaders, the entire market did pretty well and the small caps did the best. So if you're not Amazon, Google, Microsoft, those guys, but you're still a large cap stock, you did pretty well. I mean, up one and a quarter percent for the week. So, um, I mean, you see stuff like this, like lows up 9% on the week. I mean, that's, you know, there's 130 billion cap company still. I mean, it's not a trillion, but, you know, it's large. So good week for the market overall. If we look at intelligence for the coming week, semiconductor is bullish, uranium bullish, tranny's bullish. I mean, there's not really a whole lot to go off on here so don't want to make any kind of declaration um on the downside we've got bitcoin bearish natty gas bearish and weed bearish which weed is always bearish um so yeah i think for this week probably you're gonna see some reversion to the normal pattern of the nasdaq kind of dragging the market higher um or we'll see the whole market kind of sell off a bit because last two days of the week we are rated overbought now on the market this is the first time since middle of february um so you know the big move in the russell sort of Maybe you could take it as just it was a big squeeze, you know, for a couple of days, um, you know, big funds blowing out of positions and stuff like this. They couldn't take it anymore. And now, you know, that pressure might be gone. So there's nothing there to force it anymore. I don't think anyone is making any big. Uh, any big allocations into the small cap section of the stock market slash economy thinking it's something promising so yeah we'll see how it goes uh i would be fairly cautious this week uh especially into like option option expiration type stuff and uh yeah after that we'll see how it goes i mean it still is the summer so low liquidity low liquidity light trading activity i mean kind of leaves the market open for big moves up and i mean big moves as far as like big one day moves where people get squeezed once and then it's over and whatever so we'll see how it goes um you know for me i think cautious is best for this week and then just reassess after that and see how it goes so We'll talk to you guys later and uh, have fun out there. Bye.